Hi, I just will prove again. Uh, no Lamisa today, uh, just me. Uh, I regularly get bombarded with questions seeking advice on what camera to buy. So I thought it wouldn't be a very bad idea to do a video on this subject. Uh, that would be uh, beneficial for everyone looking for a new camera. And I'd be mainly for concentrating on people who are more or less uh, starters uh, with their photography. So where to start? Uh, uh, let me share some of the things that I uh, considered when I bought my first uh, camera. I started my photography with a film point and shoot, uh, a Nikon uh, 310AF camera, pretty noisy. And uh, I soon discovered that uh, I, I, I need an upgrade uh, of this camera as uh, the cost of processing a film uh, was uh, way too high. And film scans produced by the film developers uh, were not good enough and I also didn't have a scanner um, so I had to look for uh, digital there was no other option but it's uh, this type of camera is uh, not uh, relevant right now because uh, almost all the cameras that are available now today are uh, basically digital so uh, let's go straight into uh, digital then uh, my first uh, digital camera was a Sony uh, H2 uh, it's a great little camera and uh, with excellent capability uh, it's compact uh, but packed a punch uh, what with its uh, huge zoom range and also had a very good image quality a five megapixel camera only uh, five is uh, not a big number right now today uh, but megapixels don't matter uh, probably i'll do another video on megapixels later um, anyway this camera had very good image quality uh, which henceforward I would mean as image quality as IQ. Um, that was uh, more than six years back okay, when I bought this camera. Today's uh, cameras are much better in terms of image quality. And if you want uh, printing billboards or say huge prints uh, like posters, uh, you probably shouldn't worry about image quality. Okay, so uh, I would uh, say uh, don't worry about image quality and just uh, look for the other features. Now, uh, what feature uh, to look for? Uh, it all depends on your purpose, of course. And if you want a camera that uh, for your family snaps, uh, don't look for a very expensive camera. Uh, for this camera was uh, pretty expensive at, at the time I bought this one. So, uh, and the cameras uh, that uh, superseded this one are also uh, a bit on the expensive side. So, I would say uh, more expensive cameras uh, tend to have. Uh, quicker operations which means that you can start shooting almost immediately uh, after turning it on uh, this one uh, was uh, quick uh, when it's when it came up today's camera some of the today's uh, point of shoot cameras are even faster even quicker uh, but they're more expensive of course and this is important for uh, for those who shoot uh, uh, creative pictures uh, maybe uh, on the streets or while on travel uh, you don't want to uh, miss uh, the moments uh, that want to fly away and these cameras also have uh, less shutter lag. Uh, what is a shutter lag? Uh, this means you can uh, shoot uh, one picture uh, after another uh, almost immediately. You don't have to uh, wait for hours. Uh, and now to zoom. Uh, everybody loves zoom, of course. Uh, but uh, you, may need, uh, need, you may not need a very big zoom lens uh, for family events, 3x to uh, 6x zoom camera is probably enough for family pictures this was this one had a 12x uh, zoom and uh, bigger zoom lenses are uh, you know uh, they're very good for uh, travel photography uh, maybe well you are traveling in hilly areas where uh, you sometimes uh, can't go close to your subject uh, just by walking uh, zooming is probably the only option you have and also uh, look for the zoom range okay it's usually written uh, on the camera okay or on the lenses uh, uh, you can see uh, there are some millimeters are written here and sometimes uh, it's written on the uh, lenses and sometimes it's written on the uh, camera uh, uh, camera manual okay uh, these are uh, usually uh, indicated by millimeters okay and usual ranges are uh, you know starting from 24 to uh, 28 or 26 millimeters and this uh, goes. This may go down to 240 millimeters, 320 millimeters, or even 
I have seen some 720 millimeters, really huge uh, zoom, ra uh, zoom ranges. Uh, these are pretty simple calculations. Uh, if you have the starting uh, range at 24 millimeters and if it goes up to 240 millimeters, so 240 divided by 24 is uh, 10. That is 10x your zoom capability. 24 to 240 is 10x, something like that. Very simple. And uh, I would suggest that choose the uh, lowest uh, possible millimeter in terms of uh, this zoom, say 24 millimeter to say 26 or 28 millimeter, as it can cover a wide field of view. Okay, uh, you are looking at a 24 millimeter view right now. Uh, um, the camera is pretty close to me still it can cover a lot of ground and um, this would uh, probably help in uh, also taking group photos uh, within confined areas you don't have a lot of space uh, but you can still take a, a large group shot uh, now size uh, bigger zooms uh, also come with bigger size definitely and zoom ranges like uh, 10x to 30x cameras are available now um, or even 30x plus uh, that are available now but you can't put this type of camera in a pocket okay and you have to carry uh, another separate bag for it okay and I hope to do another video on uh, this kind of uh, big zoom range cameras uh, compact cameras now uh, another very important uh, feature uh, image stabilization okay um, Canon uh, calls this uh, IS image stabilization uh, Nikon wants to call it uh, VR or vibration reduction and Sony has uh, this uh, steady shot or super steady shot that's what they call this one is uh, called super steady shot this is written here and other manufacturers also have different names but uh, what this uh, does is that uh, it compensates uh, for the handshake okay if you have a shaky hand uh, you're gonna need some support from the camera and uh, the camera uh, creates a counter uh, counter uh, shake uh, that actually stabilizes the uh, uh, shooting okay so uh, if you have a shaky hand this will definitely help but uh, even if you have a pretty steady hand uh, this will uh, help you out in low light conditions when the shutter speed uh, goes down and you know the pictures become blurry uh, it can help in that time uh, so I would suggest uh, you always look for this kind of image stabilization feature in this in your cameras uh, it's a great feature that you love now onto ISO uh, I get a lot of questions regarding uh, what the camera performs in uh, real uh, low light situations shooting handheld uh, well when, when you are talking about uh, point and shoot and uh, compact cameras and you can't uh, expect image quality of a DSLR uh, DSLR sensor sizes are bigger uh, and so their higher ISO performances are much bigger, much better. Uh, but the higher ISO uh, compact cameras, I would say, um, would be like 400 plus ISO. 400 would be a pretty high ISO uh, for point shoot cameras. You can shoot uh, more than 400 ISO, but I won't uh, suggest uh, because you will have a lot of grains and you may get disappointed. And all point shoot cameras uh, are just like this uh, because they all have smaller sensors and some of them have, have higher, uh, better image quality than the others. And among other things in the camera, you can also look for buttons. Okay, this camera has a lot of buttons here. And more buttons usually mean uh, more control. Uh, this camera has a lot of control in it. Probably I will cover it in a, another uh, session. Um, probably this will prolong this session uh, too long. Whatever the case, uh, more control uh, is basically more price. Okay and the viewfinder okay you can see a viewfinder here you can look through this viewfinder as well as you can also use the um, the LCD viewfinder some people like to shoot like this in with the LCD and others would like to shoot with the viewfinder uh, well LCD is much bigger so it's a bigger uh, view but uh, it also d uh, uh, drains, uh, drains the battery so if you uh, have a viewfinder uh, as an alternative um, I would say that uh, choose that because uh, whenever your battery goes low uh, on the lower side um, definitely this will this viewfinder will save your battery you can still uh, go on shooting when the battery is still low we had a technical interruption and we, have, we are now joined by Lamisa anyway we were almost uh, at the end of our uh, uh, podcast uh, some final we were in some final words and uh, as we were saying uh, search Google uh, you will get lots of links uh, 
regarding the uh, brands uh, that you are interested in that are uh, probably available in your area and uh, get those reviews they have some uh, pretty extensive reviews uh, uh, very technical and uh, you'll get all types of information over there and always remember uh, you get what you pay for uh, more features more money uh, more operation uh, faster operations uh, more money more control more money and uh, this is ideas of proof and this is lamisa and uh, thanks for listening and watching and please uh, leave your feedback uh, which would encourage us to do more uh, such videos in, in future and um, don't forget to subscribe uh, by clicking on the subscribe button at the top of this uh, video and uh, visit our web page at ideasabroadproof.com or follow our activities in facebook just click the like button uh, in the page so that you can follow us and the link uh, to the facebook page is uh, right below this uh, video and uh, for now uh, bye uh, hope to see you again say bye